has changed a lot guys what's up guys if you don't recognize this place this is tap on canal i've been here in over a year two years it has changed a lot a lot of bush have to walk right along the edge of the water is usually up to the spot we come. Whew, nice little walk. Want to look for some tap on. Sometimes I have snook, so I have a small microplastic. And the next line I go and put on a pop up for the first 10 minutes. Just because the Icaca strip with that pop up was real fun. So I want to try that. Then we go try the soft plastic. Or water fish, see if we get something. I seen some stuff soon off the bank. Oh, no shop is tilapia, kimon, snook or tap on. We'll go find out. Fish on. Hi right, guys, like I said, I'm going to start off with the top water. This is the same one I catch fish in the carcass with. Never really catch fish here with top waters, but the conditions looking real good. Flat, calm. I've seen one or two fish play. Not as much as I'd like to see. Something just swam there. We're just going to try this for 10. I got a couple hits. Keep it a little longer. I think it might attract some keem on. But I have the soft plastics to pour on after. As always normally catch them here. But... And I find the water looking snooky. Sometimes they come, no snook at all. Sometimes the snook just here. So I'll call it later than I wanted to. When I was about quarter to seven. I like to be here closer to six. But Small, some small play there. So I see one explosion in this top water. Fish on, fish on, on the popper, on the popper, a little micro fish, it's a snook, you see, I know the fish water is looking snooky, watch out that, top water fishing is the most fun guys, it is the most fun, look at this little snook take this big popper on our way, way,
Oh, this little fish take that pop up away. Yeah, shallow side. I thought some of it. Alright, guys, probably little pops you've seen is not really top. One is snook. Not monsters, but that little guy was able to take the pop up. That's crazy, though. That little thing take that big pop up. So I'll take three more throws at it. Let's throw along the side there. Eh? Oh boy, come out and take it. Yes. I ain't see no tap one. But if it has snook, must have tap one. Eh? Alright guys, so the micro micro plastic here, 2 inch, might change the colour if the one, this one don't work, but I think this one should work perfectly. If that's not that size in the area, should be hooking up. Something cheese it already. Oh, I better cut the grass. I had a follow there already catch push something was definitely behind it one thing I'm surprised is how shallow the canal is it's real shallow fish on oh my god don't tell me we could be into hundreds of these. If it is so, I'll put on a bigger soft plastic. That is what we don't want to be catching too much of. But when you have one that size, watch what happens, you know. Okay, maybe he was our one off. Now we must be in a school of a lot. Oh my, he just had an next one. I feel like I would the same size. Oh my, these are way too small to be catching guys. <laughs> Should I have some big tap ones either eating these guys? So if they have so much of those small guys, we gotta target like ambush spots where the bigger, bigger fish might be chilling. Oh lord, I might even get a chance to do that. Oh, he come off. Tough. Here is loaded with those small fish. Feeling about the same size. Oh yeah, a little bit bigger, man. Yes, man. Double in size. Okay, okay. A little bit better. Now we want you to double in size. Oh, no, I'll miss the next one. They're stacked up. Oh, my. Like, 
this is crazy. Healthy population though. Let's we'll see if we can happen again. My gosh. Oh. Oh gosh. Let's pull it right there and the next one take it. Hey, this is crazy. I have too much fish here. I'm feeling a little bit better. A little bit better. I mean, oh, like a fish attack here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This is. Oh my god, he splashed up with him and I all kind of thing. Micro snook fest here, guys. From one, from one, oh, he come on. Oh, we ain't even swimming properly when I'm fish taking it. I'd have hundreds of fish underneath there. They're so small, you want to stay in hook. See that one come up and take it. I call it never see a soft plastic before, bro. Anybody counting? How much reach? Five, six. We do this all day, guys. Um, same size. Oh no, big up. Eh, 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 eh. Acrobatics. Oh yeah, he might be the, the biggest so far. He might be the biggest so far. Oh, that's a good sign. This is crazy. You need to go away and just have a walk in the bush and catch fish after fish. Biggest one so far. Alright guys, this is micro snook fest here. Go and catch about five more, go and put on a bigger soft plastic. This is fun, but we come for something bigger. So catch five more and put on a deer, see if we catch something bigger. We're going to explore this little channel right here. Guaranteed to have snuck inside here. Hey, something else somewhere from there. Or maybe they might be right on the edge right here. Okay, okay. Oh, so much sure I was going to get a hit there. Oh, that looked like the biggest one yet. Like seriously, can look broad like a top one. Right on the edge of the mouth. Was a snook. 
you come back and take it. On this cars. Oh yes. Told you that. Had to be the biggest one. Oh yes. In contention for the biggest one, which is you know not very big, but is a fish. All right, guys, I'll take a chance about that dozen of those micro snook for a bigger soft plastic at the UE. Hoping to get something bigger, we're still hoping for a tap on or even a bigger snook. Go fish for about 20 again. Just haven't seen any tap on, that is my only concern with catching a tap on but you never know and i think with so much small snook around it wouldn't have much tap on because i would have eaten them small snook but it still should have one or two lurking around so we're hoping to find those one or two i never know we might get this inside snook too probably it's a snook but maybe it's probably a little too big for him to think of but he'll be hanging out right here still. There he is. Oh, this could be the biggest one. This could be the biggest one. Is it? Yes, it is. It is the biggest one. Bigger bait, bigger fish. And look how he swallowed this bait too. <laughs> Such a small fish still. Hey, it's no real greedy, you know. Watch out. Watch out that. Bro, yeah, I too big. Bro, bro, biggest one though. We go again. Same cars. Oh, bigger ones in the mouth of that channel, they have wait. Hey, I know the fish small, eh? but it's still fun. <laughs> For any bigger bait, slightly bigger fish, but not the big fish we want to get. So after catching so much fish, decided to send up the drone to take a look at the surroundings. Now Trinidad and Tobago I keep saying is a beautiful place, it's an amazing place. Check this footage as I send the drone following along this river system. Now it's the middle of the dry season, you can see on the left hand side there how brown and how dry some of the areas are. But then you look to the other side, the right hand side, you see the lush green mangrove forest. And you see this river how far it goes into the mangrove forest. Eventually I'll get to a point where I lift the drone up and you see the expanse of the mangrove. It's an amazing system. And this provides so much importance to the country of Trinidad Tobago. Oxygen production. It's also a home and sanctuary to many species of wildlife including our national bird, the scarlet ibis. Lots of snakes, caimans, even capybara roam this area a lot. It's a sanctuary, like I said, and a home for so many different species that make up the flora and fauna of Trinidad and Tobago. It is an amazing place. Hopefully one day I can take a kayak and paddle along this entire stretch just to explore it. But for now, let's take a look at the drone and enjoy some more footage.
Well, right here, I'm trying to position the drone so I could show myself making some casts and hopefully catch a fish or two. I didn't realize how far I still was in terms of the footage wise. I should have brought the drone in a lot closer so I get better footage, but you know, I haven't flown the drone in a while, always rusty in these things. So I did set it up right here, did manage to catch a fish, can't see much, but check it out now. Keep fishing, fish on. Alright guys, I'm flying the drone and I catch the biggest one. <laughs> I don't know if the GoPro was off, but this is the biggest one for sure. Damn it, I didn't have one the GoPro on while the drone was flying. Snook just like that. Hi right, guys, so we came to the tap on canal today and we didn't catch a tap on. I even think I see one. That's crazy. But we catch real micro snook first time i see so much micro snook in the canal still catch some fish our uh, fishing this morning always good to come and relax the brain relax the mind come in the bush by yourself breeze out any stress you have for the week get going let's catch about 15 20 fish none of them big but still fun to catch send them the drone we get some footage hopefully you have a nice little video to put together but hey guys enjoy this episode have a little fun fishing and every time you're any morning just come and do it like i say all the stress you had for the week disappear We'll try back in a couple weeks time again and see if any tap on come in with so much snook in here we gotta get some tap on i want to eat some of them i think that's what will happen but hope you guys enjoy this episode of cool some fishing till the next one keep fishing fish on oh.